Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Isa and in this video I will teach you how to create your very own inserts and adapt them to any digital planner that you are using, all in the free and very easy to use app Keynote on iPad. So let's jump right in. I'm going to open Keynote and I'm going to create a new presentation. You tap on where it says choose theme. You pick any white one because we want it as simple as possible. And once I'm here, I'm going to tap on each of the text boxes to tap on delete to get rid of them and only have a white page. Next, I'm going to open my planner. In this case, I'm using it in GoodNotes and I'm going to go to the page where I want to use the new insert. This is the dated Bujo planner from the Princeton library and I picked a white page because I want to create my very own weekly design and I want it to fit this page in particular. So from here, you go to your export icon on the top left here. Then you tap where it says export this page and you select image and you export. Then you just tap on save image and that will save this page to your camera roll as a photo. Next, I go back to Keynote and I'm going to tap on my brush here. Tap again where it says background, go to where it says image, change image, choose photo, which will open your camera roll. And then I just select the image that I just exported from GoodNotes. Now from here, make sure you pick on scale to fit because that will make sure that the image is stretched to the max without cropping it so that you can actually see the dimensions that you need. So now we can start designing our insert. As I've mentioned multiple times, Keynote has amazing features and one of them is that you can create an almost ready to go weekly spread and that is by tapping on this plus sign and going to the first icon which is your tables, you tap on this one that has like the least amount of formatting and just like that you have created a bunch of cells that will serve to be the days of the week. So since this is going to be a weekly spread, I want it to be vertical. So I'm going to have seven columns and just one row. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to tap on this ball on the right side of my table. Not sure you can see it well on screen, but when I tap there, I get this number that pops. And if I tap on the arrows to go up or down, you will control how many columns you want this table to have. So when I hit seven, I stop because that's how many I want. That's one per day of the week. You could potentially also want eight in case that you want a column to have notes. So just think about that when you are designing. And then I'm just going to grow this box a little bit so that I can cover more of the page. I'm going to drag it down somewhere there. I want to maximize the use of space. And I do have to leave some room at the top to enter the dates, which will be the next step. But before that, I need to reduce the number of rows to just one. So I tap on this ball on the left side of the table to turn the number to one. You could potentially also divide this into three, for example. Some people like to have their week divided into morning, afternoon and evening. So if that's you, you can also do it. Now, if the lines here are too thin for you, you can change that. You just tap anywhere on the table to select it. Then you go to your brush or format icon here. And where it says cell, make sure you have that selected. You will tap on where it says cell border. Click on this third icon to make sure you select each individual cell. And then where it says width of the border, you can move this to three, four, five, or whatever amount of points that you want. In this case, this was a little bit too much for me, so I will go back to my cell formatting to bring it back to maybe A3. So that's a little thicker, so you can see it better. Okay, from here, I'm going to tap on my plus sign again. I'm going to go to my third icon, which is my basics. And from here, I'm going to tap where it says text. That will create a text box and I can just double tap on it to write the first day of the week, which is going to be Monday. I'm going to double tap on that text to format it. So go again to my brush and then where it says text, tap there and you'll be able to pick a different font. In this case, I'm going to be using Joey Bold. You can pick a different size. I should go somewhere around 40 or 42, perhaps there. And I like to have my text centered. So if you want that, just make sure that this icon is selected. And from there, I just have to drag this and bring it to the top. And I'm going to grow my box so that it fits the first box of my weekly spread. From here, I just tap on that box, click on copy, tap anywhere on the page to tap on paste. And I repeat this a total of seven times. 
it does not matter if the words are not aligned right now except for this last one you do want it to be aligned with the last box so just try to get that right now I want to select all the words so I can automatically align them you'll see how in a second but just tap on the first and then keep tapping on the following to select them all and open your menu here go back to your brush and where it says arrange you tap there and then here you can tap on this very last icon where it says align and distribute just to make sure that they're all aligned on the same bottom line and then you can tap on where it says horizontally and that will distribute all the words evenly so that they have the same spacing now without deselecting you can move all of them a little higher lower or whatever it fits better and now that they're all arranged I can go and change the text once they didn't fit of course but I'll fix that in a second and keep writing the rest of the days just double tap on a box and you'll be able to modify the text okay now for Wednesday what I'll do is I'll select that text box and I'll just pull these blue dots to grow the box a little bit so that it fits all right so just like that you have created your very own weekly spread now what do you do with it so just tap anywhere on the page and in this menu it'll say select objects so tap there and from here i'll just tap on where it says select all which will select all of the elements that i have added to this page so everything in my insert is selected then click on done and then from here you can just tap on copy and then you open your planner tap and hold click on paste and here is your brand new insert that you can just resize and adjust and because we had this original page in keynote then we knew exactly which proportions the insert needed to fit on my planner page now what if you want to keep your insert to use in other planners or just save it elsewhere for that i will go back to keynote i'll show you you can just drag sticker over here to enter split screen view and from here i already have a folder saved for inserts it's this one right here and all I can do is just tap and drag on this that is all selected, drop it on Stixer, and the new insert is going to be the very first one because it's the latest that I added. So I can now open it, and you can't see it very well because it's the same color as the background, but if I went to Good Notes, I can just tap and drag it and use it on whichever planner. And that's a nice little way to keep your inserts organized and in the same spot. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I really hope you learned something new and that you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet and click on the bell so you know when there's a new video out. If you have any questions or something was not clear, please leave me a comment below. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. I will also leave you a link to join the Printstick library where you can download this and other planners, stickers, and a bunch of elements useful for digital planning. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.